Okay, yes, <laughs> woo -hoo! All right, so yeah, I'm a former museum educator and I'm currently a community manager. And um, I'm here to talk about how to onboard and welcome community members using the museum as a metaphor. And that's because everything I know about community management, I learned from working at an art museum. Uh, so this is the Brooklyn Museum where I worked for five years as an educator and public programmer. And uh, this is Dev Boot Camp, where I'm the community and marketing manager for our New York campus, as well as a brand strategist. And we're an immersive learn to code boot camp that believes in teaching people's whole selves, coming to work however you are, even on Halloween, or especially on Halloween. Um, and I wanted to talk about these two things together because I really think that museums, boot camps, the kind of communities we're building are vibrant learning communities. And at the Brooklyn Museum, we served thousands of visitors every week, whether that was people visiting during the week with their school groups or people coming in on the weekends with their families or coming in on a Saturday night with a date or their friends. And many of the people who were visiting were not only coming to the Brooklyn Museum for the first time, but it was their first time ever coming to an art museum. So it was really important that we got that onboarding experience and that welcoming experience right uh, to foster that vibrant learning community that we wanted. So I'm going to walk you through a museum visit, which I also hope will be a metaphor for walking through a new community member, whether you're an online community or a physical space. So first of all, let's think about design. Effective design is welcoming, and the first thing you want to do is make visitors or community members members feel comfortable. They want to know, what am I supposed to do? What do I do next? How do I get my needs met? So museums have bathrooms, water fountains, a coat check right up front. You get a map. They're accessible to visitors of different needs. You know what you can do next and take care of those basic needs. In our communities, we want clear navigation, prominent calls to action, and logical next steps so people know what to do. So my question for you is how do you make new and returning visitors feel comfortable in your community? Uh, but we don't just want them in, we need to give people guidelines to set them up for success. So in museums, there's rules. You can't run, you can't touch, you can't chew gum. This keeps visitors safe and also the artwork safe. Um, in our communities, we may have a code of conduct or rules for interaction. At Dev Boot Camp, we have a code of conduct and three agreements, integrity, kindness, and whole self that are posted right on our wall and every student and every visitor in the space knows they need to abide by them. So how do you communicate your community guidelines? But it's not just about saying what you can't do, it's about saying what you can do and showing that. So as a museum educator, I like to get really silly on my tours. I would not only show people that you could talk about art or draw or write in the galleries, but you could act out a skit or make up a game and you could really interact with the art and each other because I wanted to show people how to engage in our community. Uh, you can also have self-guided learning opportunities in museums and really great progress with apps and online learning too that show people how they can engage with the art and each other. Um, as community managers, we are the ambassadors for modeling model behavior in our communities. So at Dev Boot Camp, we participate in activities with the students, whether that's sharing our feelings, talking about our week, doing improv, which terrifies me, uh, or hip hop dancing, to get in there and show them how to be an inclusive and supportive community member. Um, we also you know, reward and highlight uh, good and model behavior. So my question is, how do you model behavior in your community? But it's not just about um, coming and having an experience, it's about continued engagement. So in the museum, you want clear ways to continue engage with the museum and your visit even after you've left. So maybe you come as a casual visitor, maybe you take a tour or go for an event, but you could join as a member and come back a lot. Or maybe you want to take an extended course or continue to engage online. Museums make that very clear how to do that. And so in our communities, we may have people like customers where it's a more transactional community member, but how do people interact? How do they go beyond that initial engagement? Do you have community ambassadors or super users to make it clear how else you can be involved? And is it clear how they can become those people? 
So my question is, how do you inspire community members to engage? And what is it that they're there to engage with? For museums, it's clear, it's art. What is it for you? So, in sum, just about being a vibrant, welcoming, and diverse learning community, uh, you need clear direction to make people feel comfortable and guidelines so they know how to be successful, as well as model behavior. And you also want to have awesome content that people are inspired to engage with and provide multiple entry points for that content. So, that, I just want to say thank you very much, and please come talk to me afterwards. Tell me your favorite or least favorite museum experience and how you welcome people to your community. Thank you. <laughs>